Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running. And if you aren't familiar with On, they are a Swiss running shoe brand that were formed in 2010 and have been growing quite quickly, particularly in the last few years. They're very different to most of the mainstream brands out there, and it's all to do with this cloud, these cloud elements that they have in their running shoes, which offer cushioning, but at a reduced weight. And in today's video, I am reviewing the On Cloud Flyer, which um, I've had for a couple of months now um, and as you'd expect during that time not much wear in it at all. Now this is a lightweight cushioned support running shoe but the way that they're providing the support and stability is very different to most other shoes out there on the market and um, it's probably worth me explaining a little bit more in detail about how they are providing that support. So first it has a wider heel and on the heel you have the outer elements that are softer than the inner elements and because of that they'll collapse faster. Now on the midfoot they're just uh, neutral so they'll collapse at the same rate either side but on the forefoot now they are the other way around to what the heel was so they're going to collapse faster on the inner than on the outer. Now all of this means that you, when you run and land, you're going to get a more uh, stable position and your foot's going to stay straighter when you're doing that. Another feature is this star lacing system. Now that is going to really lock your foot down and make it feel more stable when you're wearing the shoe. The first few runs that I took in the Cloud Fire did feel a bit different to the shoes that I was used to. But once I did get used to them, then I found them really comfortable. And you really do notice the uh, the comfort that you're getting and the, the bounce that you're getting from those cloud elements and the lightness as well, that was very noticeable when you're running. For me it's a shoe I'll wear on shorter runs of maybe 5, 10, 10k distances and races as well and uh, I think for the sort of longer runs like marathons or training for marathons I would probably not wear this, I'd probably go for something with a bit more cushioning but certainly for the shorter runs, and if you do half marathons, you could wear this. Um, it, it all depends on how much cushioning you really want for that longer distance. But surprisingly, it was also um, really nice to wear this for slower paced recovery type runs. I uh, really got on well when I went on one of those the other day. In terms of sizing, now I went up half a size on one of these and uh, I, d I needed to do that because if I wore the same size that I was wearing for most of my other running shoes in the toe box it was too tight and it was rubbing against the sides and I think that would have led to blisters so 
half the size up and absolutely fine, really perfect in fact. So just bear that in mind, you might have to go up half the size if you're going to go for one of these. So as I say, I've only been using this for the last couple of months and it will be interesting to see how it wears when compared to more traditional running shoes um, over a longer period of time and more distance on the shoe. But for now, I'm, I'm absolutely happy with it. And I'm also um, interested to see how On's new support running shoe is going to turn out. Um, I think it's probably going to come with more cushioning and it's going to probably be geared towards the more of those longer runs. So it would be interested to uh, compare that to the Cloud Flyer. But that's about it now for this review guys. Um, I hope you found it interesting and if you are looking to um, purchase the Cloud Flyer or if you're already running the Cloud Flyer then I would be uh, interested to see what your thoughts are. Put a comment in the uh, down below, that would be really interesting to hear. So guys that's a bit of it for now, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have uh, please do hit that thumbs up button, give the video a like and if you're new to the channel why not consider subscribing. But for now guys, goodbye.